Hey guys, how's it going? Freya from Tools and Gadgets. We're back again with another video today. I'm so excited to share to you the unboxing and review of this Inkbird temperature, humidity, wood sensor and gateway. So as we all know, winter is coming here in New York City and I'm really paranoid with the temperature inside the room. As of now, we're not using any heaters. We just have a very good insulation here in our apartment. So with the help of the three sensors, I could put one outside here in the living room and inside the baby's room, which is pretty helpful. So yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this guys. All right, so we have the Inkbird temperature humidity sensor. This comes with a Wi-Fi gateway, so you could use this through your phone. You have your app control here, the temperature and the humidity. I don't know why there's a hole here, but yeah, let's go ahead and unbox it. So inside you have the instruction manual here and you have your sensors here. You have three sensors in total. So for size comparison, guys, here's a regular key card. So as you can see, so it's a pretty big sensor. It's not that compact, but then, yeah, I think there's a reason for this. And in the box, you have the digital display here for the sensors. And also you could have it shown on your app. Let's set it up later. I'll show you how. And then we have our Wi-Fi gateway here. So you have your USB-C here and the reset button and here's the Wi-Fi button and at the bottom you have your USB-C charging cable here and you have your screws. Yeah, so that's about it. Okay, so there's also a sticker here at the bottom so that you could label your sensors here one, two, and three so that you won't get confused I guess. So yeah, that's about it guys. So let's go ahead and set it up. Okay, so we have already labeled our sensors here and at the back you could go ahead and pop the cover up so you have you will be using two AAA batteries here and on the sensors back here we need to unscrew this because this is an outdoor sensor so that's why it has a screw on it compared to this this is a indoor sensor with a built-in display Okay, so in here it also uses a two AAA battery. So you'll be needing like two, four, six, eight AAA batteries. One thing to take note is that it, the box doesn't come with any AAA battery. So you need to provide it on your own. You have your transmitter button here. So yeah, let's go ahead and put some batteries on this sensors and the display, the indoor sensor here, and let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so we've managed to place the batteries at the back. So it automatically detects here after placing the battery we'll just wait like 20 seconds then now shows here so so what you can see they're at around the same temperature right now because they're all here okay so this ch forward slash r is when changing the channel so there you go channel two channel three so if you're not touching this one it just round robins it automatically changes but if you want to do it like faster one you could go ahead and click it all right, so here at the back, you have the Celsius and Fahrenheit. So let's go ahead and set it to Fahrenheit because we're in the United States right now. So this one, guys, the maximum and minimum. Let's go ahead and click that. So it shows there the maximum right now is at 77.3 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is the maximum right now. And we have our humidity here on the side. So when you want to clear the maximum, uh, temperature go ahead and long press this and it will clear it out okay so let's go ahead and connect this to the outlet and let's pair all the sensors to this gateway all right so let's go ahead and search the inkbird app let's go ahead and download it okay so one thing to take note guys is when this is flashing like really fast that means that it's ready to pair so let's go ahead and open the app hit okay so that it can connect it through bluetooth here so let's go ahead and click sign in so go ahead and make your account guys all right guys so we are now finished registering our account so let's there's as of now there's no devices added yet so let's go ahead and click the plus here on top and let's search for our gateway device this ibs-m1 let's go ahead and click that click next
So after this guys, connection will be successful. So that's the only problem that I encountered with this, the Inkbird thermometer. So as you can see, congratulations, pairing success. All right, so we could now see it here, guys. So we have the three sensors scattered on my apartment. So in here, guys, you could click on the settings and you could uh, customize the alarm temperature setting. So when it reaches below 14 degrees Fahrenheit, there's a notification in your phone informing you that it is already below the limit that you set and also the upper limit and also the humidity setting you could also set it here guys so yeah that's about it guys so thank you for watching tools and gadgets see you again in our next vlog bye